Hi, this is Dr. Bernard Beldholm and today we're talking about preparing for your tummy tuck surgery. There are many things to consider when you prepare for your tummy tuck surgery, both before and after surgery. Uh, if you've never had surgery before, then it can be quite scary and overwhelming to think about all the preparation that's needed. In this video, I'll give some helpful tips about how to prepare for your surgery, how long your recovery will be and what options there are. I performed a vasolipoabdominoplasty, which I find provides a great result and a great recovery, specifically does not need any drains. Normally it's, a, um, normally it's an overnight stay in hospital. Uh, for the mini tummy tucks, it's a day stay in hospital. In broad terms, there are four types of tummy tucks that I perform, um, and the recovery will be slightly different for these. The mini basal lipo abdominoplasty, which I uh, and then the full basal lipo abdominoplasty, the extended basal lipo abdominoplasty, and the body lift. I refer to my basal lipo abdominoplasties as the skull tummy tucks. Uh, the preparation for these surgeries um, are very similar, so all the points that I go through in this video are generally applied. The main difference is the recovery. The mini tummy tuck has the quickest recovery, usually day stay surgery and usually back to work in around 10 days to two weeks. Again, it depends on what sort of work you do, depending on how much heavy lifting you need to do, if it's an office type job as well. Driving is around 10 days. Uh, the full and extended tummy tuck are, have very similar recovery. Overnight stay in hospital, usually two to three weeks for driving and three to four weeks to get back to work. The body lift is usually done for my post weight loss patients. The benefit of doing surgery post weight loss is that there's usually an item number. That means that your health fund will cover you for the hospital charges. Um, so you can stay a few extra days to recover fully from this big operation. You'll need to consider a lot of things prior to surgery and it's always a good thing to have these prepared. Uh, let your workplace know when you will commence work once again. Uh, and again, it depends. You might have lighter duties initially if you want to start a little bit earlier. Uh, so that's something to talk about beforehand as well. If you have children, organize help. You know, parents, relatives, you know, your partner, that sort of thing. Uh, you'll not be able to drive uh, straight after the preparation, so you need to have things prepared beforehand and ready without having to go and get them all the time. Our patient coordinator will help you with all the paperwork uh, for the hospital and getting quotes for the knee citizen hospital. Um, now, preparing your home after abdominal plastic surgery. So, week one per surgery will be the most challenging both physically and emotionally. To have you, your home set out uh, as comfortably as possible will make a big difference in how you feel and how you recover. And that's why I uh, put together these tips for you. They're, they're based from patient feedback and my observations over the years as well. Uh, if you have family support um, or are doing our luxury getaway, then you may have no worries about many of these points uh, because it will be done for you. But uh, if, you, if you don't have that, then preparing your home prior to surgery, these are my tips. Okay. Have a week's worth of prepared meals. So you basically go in the fridge, microwave and have it ready to go for yourself. So that way you don't have to go to the shops. If you have pets, have their food bowl easy to access without having to bend. Prepare your bed for the beach chair reclining position. You will need to have three pillows behind your back and head or two pillows under your knees. So prepare your bed for the beach chair reclining position. So that the main thing there is that you want your hips to be bent. So if your legs are bent or if your upper body is bent, then that's all you need. So usually a couple of pillows under your knees and maybe one or two pillows for your head just to put pressure off the, um, off the surgical wound area. 
You may find a reclining chair fabulous for holding the beach chair position or alternatively in a lounge chair. Prepare a bedside table with the Panadol, with the water, the tissues. Prepare a chair a side table with your nourishing items. So you got uh, books, magazine, sewing, computer, phone, uh, tea and water. Um, and also make sure you drink a lot of water. Uh, loose comfortable clothing, easy to access without bending or pulling the drawers open is important. And also loose fitting clothing is good because you get a obviously swelling after the operation so you want something that's a little bit more bigger than you normally would have um, now home from the hospital uh, you'll need someone to drive you uh, home from the hospital and ideally stay with you for the first few days uh, if you have to bend down to the ground level drop your knees using a wall to help you support yourself don't bend it will hurt um, be patient. Know that the first week, um, at least, you will be doing very little. Every day you, feel, you will feel different and you will feel different physically and emotionally. One minute you might be saying, oh, why did I do this? And the next minute you might be saying, look at my flat tummy, it's all worth it. You may, you may be worried about how you are progressing physically. So that's why it's important to visit us at the surgery every couple of days. And we have LED light uh, treatments booked in for you for the first two weeks where the nurse and where me uh, will have a look at you during that time. So if there's any problems, we'll pick it up straight away. Sleep when your body tells you to sleep. Uh, when you get out of bed, roll on your side first using your arm that is under you to leverage yourself into a sitting position. Sit on the side of the bed or chair for a moment before using your quads. Using a bedside table can also help uh, you get up. Do a little walking every hour or so during the day. Moving about will help with the swelling, but don't do too much. Now, going to the toilet can be a bit awkward after surgery, especially um, as you have your compression garment on. The garment has a hole for the private bit, so um, you can go, uh, you know, have a wee, and no problems usually. You can take it off for showers. Um, you know, going for number twos can be a bit tricky, and you might want to take the garment off. It usually has clips in the groin area, so you can unclip it, but not take the whole thing off, and then go to the toilet. Um, some patients have commented on the fact that it's quite hard to wipe yourself down, <laughs> down the private area and you might find uh, some of my patients have suggested a, a towel to dry yourself. Um, just that bending can be a little bit difficult but uh, you might have wipes as well, might be a, a useful thing to have prepared beforehand. Um, once you get over that first few days or five to seven days then uh, you'll be pretty right to go but that's you know the first few days are the worst um, and if you have pain we give you usually regular anti-inflammatory and panadols and take those regularly but don't wait until the pain is really really bad to take something more stronger because we are giving you the script for some stronger pain relief take that if you need it um, now this is what I tell everyone in hospital and, and beforehand. So the first day in hospital is going to be the worst. You're going to be sore because the local anesthetic wears off. You're going to be sore getting out of bed. The first shower is going to be a little bit tricky. Second day is going to be a lot better than the first day. So you're going to have a lot more comfort. Um, you know, if you had any nausea after the anesthetic drug, that would have settled. So you're feeling a lot better. You're walking around. Third and fourth day, usually the pain is really settling down by then. Most of the time I find that, you know, people are a little bit sore, uh, five to 10 days, but usually not so much that it's, it's a major problem. So um, if you can get through the first three days, you'll be, you'll be pretty right after that. So I hope this video has uh, been helpful. Um, if you have any other suggestions, have you had a tummy tuck and you have other suggestions about how to prepare for it, then go and put that in our suggestion um, in, in our comments 
and that's be very very useful i can always do another video with adding those things on um, certainly you get uh, extensive information from us from the office before you have your tummy tuck so uh, and you can always call our staff we have a 24 7 number that you can call afterwards so you are going to be well taken care of for your surgery